welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Mary and her Twinkie. This I wrote in a column years ago. It's a true story. One day at recess in the schoolyard at St. Mary and Joseph Catholic School, I fell down and seriously skinned my knee. Everyone laughed and ran off except for Mary Lister. Mary came over and pulled her luncheon dessert from a brown paper bag and handed me my first ever Twinkie. I fell in love that day with Mary and with Twinkies. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Mary who gave me that first Twinkie, went on to hold my heart in her Twinkie-smeared hand up to the sixth grade. She also gave me my first Valentine, which I still have in my first scrapbook. Well, I've written about this before, and I can't find it in my book, but there it is in your hearts, if you're still my reader. I think about that Valentine and Mary on that day each year. Mary and I were a couple of years apart, never sweethearts, just close friends after that day. Then this old warm and crazy story began to worm its way into my space. One warm day in 1951, home in my first leave from the Air Force at 18 years of age, I visited my beloved old Melba movie theater on Grand Avenue for a nostalgic box of popcorn. As I was about to leave, a young girl entered, stopped dead, and gasped, Oh, Jerry? Jerry Devine? Well, it was the Mary Lister of the first Valentine fame with a Band-Aid on her nose. There we stood, the boy of the horribly skinned knee and the girl of the first Valentine. The conversation, oh, oh, barely remembered from years ago, went something like this. You skinned your nose and you're in a uniform. (laughs) Yeah, we shared a fountain coke and we, we said goodbye and promised to write. Barely a block away, she shouted and ran back. How long are you home? It was my first leave before going overseas. I probably said about a month. Would you like to be my prom date? Don't you have a date? He's a nerd. Can you wear your uniform? All the details of that encounter, the corsage, the cab, the nervous stomach, fell into place, and Mary Lister of the stale Twinkie and the boy with the skin knee lit up her prom. Oh, yes. Over the years, I moved from St. Louis to Waukegan, Illinois, to Bellevue, Washington, Chicago to Boston, New York to Tokyo, Hong Kong, Los Angeles, and your front door right here in Waterville without ever seeing Mary Lister again. From that schoolyard where I survived the tragic skinned knee and was gifted my first trinket, I wandered through one war and years of an acting career and dozens of jobs across America. It's comforting to know that through each Valentine's Day of sharing, I, I shared with others. I'm still with she. I tried to find my old friend and hasty prom date of that decade to no avail. Women marry and change their names and lives and ever evidentially pass away. But some memories survive. Happy Valentine's Day, Mary. 
Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine. On the Edge with J.P. Devine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.